Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are continuing with our Jira Administrator tutorials. We are yet to begin with the main administrator options but before that we are just taking some of the effort in order to give you some basic introduction to the Jira as well because this is a server instance and of course it has a difference between uh, compared to the cloud instance of Jira when it comes to the server instance of a Jira software. And that's what we are trying to understand in a little more detail. So in this particular tutorial, we'll be just looking at how exactly you can create a particular issue within a project and what kind of options do you have in order to create an issue, start a sprint, manage your backlogs, a lot many other things in just simple tutorials. We'll be getting started with main administrator options in the very next tutorial. So stay tuned for that. So let's explore how exactly to get started within a project while working with the issues and the sprints. As a part of this tutorial, we will be getting started with creating simple issues and understanding how to create an issue in Jira server instance and at the same time just exploring what are the types of issues which you can have and of course creating a quick sprint and see that how exactly we can manage all our tasks within a particular sprint. When it comes to the Jira server instance, of course, there are slight differences in the UI, but of course, the objective remains the same when it comes to creating an issue. Of course, uh, just like uh, the cloud instance, you do have the options of creating issue right at the backlog. When you are at the product backlog, you will have an option to click on this button that is to create issue, or even you can create issue by clicking on the menu bar, create button. And both of them does the same job. You just have the same details and you just have to click uh, any of these options to start creating your issues. Oh, don't forget that we are talking about the Jira administrator in this playlist. So probably I'll be a little quick, but I have an I button on the top to take you to detailed understanding of how to create issues and manage them in the sprint and backlog. Well, you can just simply click on create issue and uh, you can start creating. Now here you will have a drop down button here to select what kind of issue are you creating. Is it a story, task or bug? But when you come on the top, you click on this create button, you have the same options plus you will have something more that is epic. That means you can even start with creating an epic and so on. So let's create a simple epic first that you are creating an application that is application to uh, read news okay so it's just like kind of a news application which I'll be creating and if you want you can write a summary an application to read news and this will include a lot of different news okay so we will see that from time to time but the major area of concentration is administrator and for that we need some of the information to be there so similarly all these are the details are here you can click on the i button to know more about uh, all these uh, fields and you can just click on create right now we have we don't have a sprint so of course uh, uh, we don't have anything specific to do so just click on create button here and uh, the very first epic will be listed down okay so now we see that our epic tin1 it has been created and if you want you can continue creating that basically after refresh it to see Okay, so you can find your epics at this particular panel here. You can just click on epics because epics are not part of the uh, backlogs or sprints. So you will see that there is an application uh, to read news as an epic which is already created. You can also add an epic directly by clicking here. That's the reason when you click on create issues button at this point of time in the backlog, you don't see an epic option. Okay, because epics are not a part of your backlogs. This is the project requirement which you are further breaking down into user stories and so on. So let's create a user story this time and see what are the steps involved. So this time I'm just going to drop down and select it as a user story and say, for example, my user story is about uh, talking about uh, political news, political news in the app. Okay, so this is going to be a section or segment where a lot of news will be related to and then you can 
certainly go ahead with you know determining any of the fields if you have already a sprint you can associate that but right now we do not have just click there's a button here to create another so if you want you can just click on this to continue creating back to back so right now there's a user story which is created you can see that and inside this I can create a task uh, that's a different type remember team your issue types are determined determined on the type of project you have selected by default and that's what we will be learning how to customize them further for example if I'm using a Giles scrum project I will have certain types what you're looking at right now but if you are having something other than the scrum project then you may have different types of issues but at any point of time when you are a Jira administrator you can always include your custom issue types and determine what kind of fields they will be using and there are a lot many other things which you can explore so let's let's create a simple task below this and uh, uh, let the name task of the name is like for example national politic news okay so this will be another segment or, or probably like you know highlighted things which will be under my news section under politics so just create another or click on create button and you can continue creating using this option because I've enabled create another button here okay so this checkbox as far as it is enabled it will just continue allowing you to create more for example uh, you know say uh, I want to have a COVID-19 section so COVID-19 latest updates or news you can have different sections so just click keep on creating once you are done you can just uncheck this and click on cancel or just say okay uh, to do that now you will see that I've got three uh, tasks being created uh, one is the user story and two are the task here if you want you can continue creating issues but right now we have three issues so let's learn uh, automatically it will prompt you that do you want to create a sprint now because you have some of the tasks just click on this button here to create a new sprint just name it according to your naming conventions of the organization and uh, you can determine so you can also write a goal here the goal is all about uh, determining what is the objective and what is that you're trying to deliver in this particular sprint so say for example for me is to deliver uh, to deliver uh, the task TIN 3 and 4 okay so it's just like you can refer to the ID of each of the task and you can determine duration custom you will determine or you can have uh, predefined things or you can just say 4th of uh, January to probably like it's going to end another 15th so we're just going 14 days on this particular sprint so you have nine working days put together and you're going to deliver these two tasks so click on create and that's it your sprint is ready uh, your sprint is created as you got the message here now all you have to do is drag and drop the activities to the uh, sprint one if you want you can make use of uh, the existing task like this drag and drop or if you even, even if you want you can just click create issues the moment you add a you know task to a particular sprint it will be automatically associated to that sprint and then the button will automatically change here or this particular sprint button will have start sprint option which basically lets you begin this sprint and start working on it and uh, it allows you to manage all the tasks one after the other and here again this backlog is your product backlog and the above one is your sprint backlog so that's how you see the difference between the backlogs uh, on the dashboard of the Jira software okay so just click on start sprint and that's all you're done beginning it on this particular day and confirm this say start so now your sprint one has begun and you got a your, you know the scrum board here and the scrum board shows that you have three columns to do in progress and done where three tasks are there and all of them are right now at to do so you have to just move drag and drop here and continue working on that at any point of time when you're done completing with your sprint just click on complete sprint then you will have your retros happening and so many things other so we will just see a few things uh, from time to time but this is uh, not in our scope right now because these are basic Jira concepts which I've covered in my previous tutorial if you want you can click on the I button and refer that our main intention don't forget in this particular series is to work on the Jira administrator tutorials okay but to do anything here on administrator I must have some data so I just thought of creating a simple tutorial to make you understand once again that what exactly is uh, Jira 
uh, issues and what are the types which you will get and I'll work offline to create some more tasks for you and the next tutorial will be getting started with some of the things like working on the users okay we will start with the user management and see how we can create user accounts what well, that's all from this particular episode team should you have any queries feel free to drop them below on the comment box I'm always there to respond to them and answer them Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.